underestimated standard error for the mean difference. So two group is given, group A is sample size, sample mean, and some squared is given. So so is this one. Then we do have a formula. Let's take a look what is the formula looks like. So the formula is going to look like this, and of course, the square root of full variance. Well, why we use the full variance? Because this is a two group, and we assume equal variances. So uh, we have full variance over sample size one, which is going to be this eight on the bottom, plus same full variance over sample size two, which is going to be twelve. Now, what is this? full variance so something we have to find out something we have to figure it out so full variance so this is the full variance we have to work it out full variance s squared phi s squared stands for the variance and phi stands for the full is equal to ss1 ss1 plus ss2 over degree of freedom again if it is only one sample we just use if it is variance only we just use ss over degree of freedom which is n minus one since it is a full two of them we're talking about we just add both ss and divided by degree of freedom so then we just have to substitute it equal to let's take a look what is known so this 225 i'm going to substitute here and of course 290 i'm going to substitute it here 225290 over degree of freedom this is important we understand that so if there is a two sample we add both of them 8 plus 12 and since we are adding 2 we just subtract 2 so full variance is equal to let's take a look what is our calculator is going to give us so we're going to use our calculator actually press the n over d and 225 plus 290 over degree of freedom 8 plus 12 minus 2 equal to seems like a fraction we use double arrow 28.611 three decimal is going to be fine 28 28.611 that is the full variance so once we have that full variance we just substitute right back into here so once we have the full variance we're just going to substitute it here same one down here same one up here actually and then we get our answer so let's take a look type it in here so square root is going to be same 28.6111 over n1 is 8 sample size 8 plus only thing is sample size is going to change otherwise it's going to be same under same square root 28.611 over the sample size is 12 okay so let's type it in the calculator the way it looks like so we have to be very careful when you type this in second x square is going to give us a square root again if you have a fraction made calculator it's easier you don't need much parentheses but if you don't have fraction made calculator you need a bunch of parentheses order of operation so in this case i'm going to press this fraction which is 28.6111 over 8 then go to the right plus again 28.611 maybe another one and press the n over d and that is going to be 12 and press enter seems like i have approximately so let's take a look i have approximately 2.441 that is our estimated standard error of the mean sm1 minus m2 if you don't want to use this decimal you want to have exact we can actually do so so let me see our calculator gives us the same thing here so second x square this is the fraction and we need so specifically like that so well on the top sp square we know we have to actually type this in though so two to five so let's take a look type it in here two two five plus two nine zero over remember it is 18 8 plus 12 which is 20 minus 2 is 18 so i can just type in 18 and i'm going to go down here the reason i'm going down because that's actually another sample size so there is a fraction here i have to be very careful here so n is in this case is 8 now go to the right and press addition here or actually i'm going to go to the um okay let me try with the calculator without converting here let's see everything else can be typed into calculator and get the same answer as this two 2.441 so second x square remember i need this so this fraction and i need another fraction plus another fraction is very important and i'm going to go back here this one i need fraction again fraction why is that because this is add and divide by the degree of freedom so 225 plus 290 over degree of freedom is 18 because 20 take away 2 is 18 and then sample size which is n1 is 8 so this is going to be 8 now going to the right and of course we do the same thing we press double fraction again here same thing here 225 plus 290 over in this case same degree of freedom which is 18 over this time is sample size is 12 so this is sample size is 12 12 sample size so i'm done i think i enter bingo same answer so even though we just convert that into decimal and plug that in i think that is better but in case you want to use the same time you have this calculator it can it can rescue you you getting the same answer 2.441 three decimal places depending on the direction of the question we round two decimal three decimal whatever and this calculator is very handy 
you can go to the float and go to the mode and mode float and number two if it is two decimal if it is three decimal three clear enter as 2.44 is two decimal places thank you i hope you understood